Cisco has made some big announcements regarding their certification program, and I'm here to tell you about... Hang on, didn't what? you just do a video about this? Well, yeah. Yeah, it, but... dude, it's right there. You just made a video about this. Yeah, and Cisco has some new announcements. So why don't you have a seat and let's see what changes are coming. You're subscribed, right? Well, I... Uh... Hit that subscribe button so you can be in the know about any future changes. Now let's get into this. Hi, my name is Rich and welcome to the Rich Tech Guy channel. Now, as of the date of publication for this video, it was yesterday, May 27th, 2025, that Cisco announced some big updates that are coming to the certification program at the very beginning of next year. And I'll get into the exa exact dates uh, as we go through this. Uh, the reason why the announcement has come out now for something that is several months away is so that way if you are currently studying for one of the certifications that it was affected by these announcements that gives you time to continue to complete your studies and take the exams you are planning to take without having to scramble for something new now before i get into this if you like this kind of content go ahead and hit that like button and if you're not subscribed to this channel why don't you hit that subscribe button as well so that way you can continue to be in the know about what is happening in terms of cisco certifications so let's start looking at some of the changes so let's start off by talking about what is probably the biggest of the announcements and that would be what is happening to the devnet certifications so uh, first of all, I'm going to throw out a date here, and this is an important date to remember. In fact, I'm going to repeat it a lot throughout the uh, video, and that is February 3rd, 2026. So that's when all of these changes that were announced are going to go live. So on February 3rd, 2026, what's happening to the DevNet certifications is they are going to change and become the automation certifications. So what is currently DevNet Associate certification is going to become the CCNA automation. The DevNet Professional will become the CCNP automation, and the DevNet Expert will become the CCIE automation. Additionally, some exams are going to get retired. So uh, the exams that will be retired are going to be the S auto, so the security automation exam, the collaboration auto, so CL auto, and the service provider auto. Uh, so those specialist exams are going to be retired along with the DevOps exam. That's another specialist certification currently under DevNet. Um, and so the last date to test for any of those four exams is going to be February 2nd, 2026. The exams that are staying around are going to undergo major revisions. So the, uh, the exams that are staying are of course going to be the DevCore, D-E-V-C-O-R, but that one is going to undergo a name change. It is actually going to become the AutoCore uh, exam as part of the change to the new automation certification. And then the EN Auto, so the Enterprise uh, Automation Exam, that is going to stick around with a major revision. And the DC Auto or Data Center Automation is going to stick around but have a major revision. And for all of these exams that are uh, sticking around but changing, the updated study materials and curriculums will be posted on Cisco's website in July of 2025. The Cisco cybersecurity certifications are undergoing another update. So prior to January of 2025, they were referred to as the Cisco Cyber Ops certifications. But then in that update, the name was changed from Cyber Ops to Cybersecurity, so they became the Cisco Cybersecurity certifications, and they underwent a minor exam revision. Well, now on February 3rd, 2026, there's going to be another update to the cybersecurity certifications, but this one is really just going to be in name only. So starting on February 3rd, 2026, the Cisco Cybersecurity Associate certification will be renamed as the CCNA Cybersecurity. And the Cisco Cybersecurity Professional Certification will be renamed as the Cisco 
CCNP cybersecurity, not to be confused with the CCNP security. Those will be two separate certifications. So it is also that the specialist certification, so the cybersecurity specialist certification, uh, that's gonna stay as is. And there, as of this time, there is no cybersecurity expert certification. So uh, of course there won't be any name change on a certification that doesn't exist. And as I said, this will be a update in name only because they underwent the, ma the minor revisions in uh, 2025, January 2025. So there is no further announcement regarding revisions or changes to the exams. It will be just a name change. Now I did cover some of that in my previous video. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll link it up, up above and in the description down below. In regards to these changes that are happening to the DevNet certifications and the cybersecurity certifications, Cisco is moving all of the certifications now together under a standard naming nomenclature. That being where the associate level exams are the CCNA exams. So now you will have starting on February 3rd, 2026, three different CCNA exams. There will be the CCNA Classic, there will be the CCNA Automation and the CCNA Cybersecurity. Additionally, on the professional side of things, you have now the CCNP for all professional level exams. And that one you will have in addition to all of the existing different paths, you know, like the Enterprise, Data Center, Collaboration, you are now going to have a CCNP Automation and a CCNP cybersecurity. And then, of course, at the expert level, you're going to have the CCIE. Uh, also, CCDE is an expert level certification. And if you want more information about that, you should check out my last video regarding certification updates. Uh, that it will be linked down below. But uh, in regards to the CCIE, again, you've got the different paths of the CCIE. So you're going to have the uh, enterprise, you're going to have for the collaboration, data center, and now there's going to be a CCIE automation. As of the time of making this video, there is no announcement or any plans that have been put forth by Cisco publicly stating uh, that there will be a CCIE cybersecurity. There is, of course, a CCIE security. So uh, just like I said in regards to the NP, do not confuse the CCNP security with the CCNP cybersecurity. Uh, there will still be a CCIE security, but no CCIE cybersecurity. Now that we've covered all of that, let's take a look at what's happening with one of the existing certification paths. The Cisco Collaboration Certification Program is also undergoing quite a few changes around its certification. So first of all, the Collaboration Program is going to pick up a new specialist certification and that will start on February 3rd, 2026 and it will be under the exam of 300-830, the Collaboration Cloud Customer Experience Certification. The first data test for that, as mentioned, will be February 3rd, 2026. There will be two collaboration specialist certifications that are retiring, and the last day to test for these will be on February 2nd, 2026. Those certifications are, I've already mentioned, the collaboration auto uh, the exam, which was the DevNet collaboration automation certification, so that one is going away. The other one that is going away is the 300-810, or the Implementing Cisco Collaboration applications exam. Additionally, for the exams that are remaining, there are a few that are going to be undergoing major revision. So of course, a major revision is a one where the number on the left side of the decimal point increments up. So a minor revision would be, say, an exam going from version 1.1 to 1.2, whereas a major revision would be an exam going from, say, 1.2 to 2.0. So a number of Cisco collaboration uh, exams are going to have that major revision, starting with the 35801 Cisco collaboration core exam. That is, of course, the exam that you need in order to 
uh, have for either the collaboration CCNP or the collaboration CCIE certifications. And then there will be a few uh, collaboration specialist certification exams that are undergoing major revisions. The 300-815 is undergoing a major revision. Uh, that is the implementing Cisco Advanced Call, Center, or call Control and Mobility Services uh, certification. And then the 300-820 uh, or the Cisco Collaboration Cloud and Edge Solutions. So for all of these exams, the current version will remain in effect and the last day to test under the current version will be February 2nd, 2026. On February 3rd, 2026, these exams are going to go uh, into their new version. All right, so you have gotten through and seen all these updates about certifications and you are starting out your path or maybe you're in the middle of your path for learning and you're looking for some resources or you're looking for where to go to get information about this. So part of all of this announcement is Cisco has brought in something new called Learn with Cisco. But even though it's kind of new, it's not really. It's, it's basically a new name to cover all of the educational elements of Cisco or Cisco education, which it has up until this point included the networking academy, the Cisco Learning, Cisco U, and also the Cisco Certifications Program. So all of that's being rolled together under Learn with Cisco, where the phrase to that is start here, go anywhere. So this is where you can go to the Cisco website and you can look up all of the resources out there for any particular certification you want to study. Now, for any of these changes that have been announced, they are going to uh, publish updated study guides or updated curriculums coming in July of 2025. So if you're watching the video before then, just make a note of that on your calendar. If this is already after July 2025, go to Learn with Cisco and have a look at uh, what is going on with the uh, updated curriculums. All right, so what if you're studying for one of these certifications that's undergoing changes? Well, what should you do? All right, so first of all, depending on the time you watch this video, if you watch it when it comes out, my advice to you is keep studying for the uh, certification that you are studying for. All right, uh, now if you happen to be watching this, say on February 2nd, 2026, um, maybe go ahead and comment down below that you're watching on February 2nd, 2026. Uh, but I, you're not gonna have time, sorry. Uh, but uh, in that case, you're going to have to just make sure you study for the new certification. And uh, by that point in time, the updated curriculum material will already be posted on Cisco's website. That should happen in July of 2025. So if uh, you are studying for any of the existing certifications, as I said, if you, you've got several months here before this happens, uh, go ahead and keep studying for that. Any certification that you get on a retired exam will still be valid for three years after the day you pass the exam. So even though the exam gets retired, you will still have a valid certification. Uh, now, when it comes, you won't be able to renew it after that point. However, at that point, I would then suggest to look at what comparable exams exist at that time to study for renewal and uh, continue on from there. The uh, as for if you get a certification that is changing, so let's say you already have a DevNet certification or you get one here in the next couple of months, uh, you will automatically have your certification changed to the new name. You won't have to do anything about it. Uh, so if you currently hold a DevNet professional or you get one before the change happens, uh, it will just automatically turn over into a CCNP automation exam. Uh, so again, Keep studying for the one you're already studying for, unless of course you're watching this really close to February 3rd, 2026, or after February 3rd, 2026, in which case you study for the new one. Are you studying for any of the certifications that have been affected by this? Uh, go, if so, go ahead and comment down below, or maybe you've got some thoughts regarding these changes uh, to some of the naming or some of the updates coming to the certifications. 
do you like the idea of DevNet becoming the automation certification? Uh, again, just go ahead and comment that down below. And you've made it to the end of the video, so go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already done so. And please, uh, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit subscribe. Again, just Go ahead and do that. It costs you absolutely nothing, and you can stay in the know about what's happening with Cisco certifications. Also, I've posted some links to some educational materials down there. If you are studying for anything, go ahead and check those out. Those are going to be affiliate links, so do with that information what you will. And as always, keep learning, keep studying, keep improving, and I will see you in the next video.